What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to Gun Guides. This is the series where I go into great detail with all of the stats of every one of the weapons in COD World War II. Keep in mind with the series, things are likely to change throughout the year, so make sure you keep up with it, and I'll be sure to keep you guys updated anytime there's changes made. In today's episode, we're going to be jumping back to the SMG category and covering the MP40. So first up, some real-life stats for the MP40. It was developed in 1938 in Germany, and it fires a 9x19 Luger round at 500 to 550 rounds per minute. When we get into Call of Duty World War II, the MP40 has a damage profile of 35, 32, 23, 19. This means this gun is going to take 3 to 6 shots to kill depending on the range. Our rate of fire is exaggerated quite a bit from the real life stats at 681 rounds per minute, and based on feedback from the previous couple episodes of Gun Guides, I decided to include the rate of fire with rapid fire equipped as well, and with the MP40, this is 725 rounds per minute. As for our statistical minimum time to kill, it's got an incredible time to kill right up close within its 3 shot kill range at just 176 milliseconds. This time to kill within the 3 shot kill range is the fastest out of any full auto weapon in this game. Once we start getting into the longer ranges, obviously our time to kill drops off with our damage, all the way down to 441 milliseconds. For headshots, this once again isn't going to take long, all the SMGs are pretty much the same. Headshot multiplier is 1.1, which means don't worry about headshots, the difference in damage is negligible, and having one headshot land is never going to change the number of shots to kill. Moving on to our ranges, as you can see here, that 3 shot kill range where it has an amazing time to kill, is very short with the MP40. It's only 100 inches or two and a half meters. So on paper, if you're not looking at the ranges and just looking at the damage values, this looks incredibly powerful, but then here you realize that that three shot kill range only comes into effect if you're practically touching the enemy player. As for our four shot kill range, it's actually quite good for the SMG category at approximately 16 meters. And our five shot kill range is also very good for the SMG category at over 25 meters. So at point blank range, the MP40 absolutely dominates, and then it's actually pretty decent throughout its 4 and 5 shot kill range as well. Once you get out to the 6 shot kill range though, this gun definitely doesn't excel. When we pop a suppressor on there, it reduces all of our ranges by 30%. And with advanced rifling, all of our ranges aside from the short 3 shot kill range are increased by 25%. As for the hardcore players out there, this is the one-shot kill potential of the MP40. It matches the four-shot kill potential of the MP40 in core modes. So you can see it's okay, it's pretty decent for an SMG, but you are definitely going to be taking two shots to kill in a lot of your gunfights. As for idle sway, the MP40 has a decent amount of idle sway. It's pretty much right in line with the other SMGs in the game. It's very noticeable, and it definitely will affect your ability to hit your shots at those longer ranges. For recoil, it definitely has a decent amount of vertical recoil, which is relatively controllable, but it also does kick side to side a little bit. It's not like the PPSH, which kicks pretty much straight upwards. The MP40 definitely bounces a little bit side to side when you're firing it, which can be unpredictable and hard to control at times. Personally, I still find hitting shots within close to somewhat medium range is still pretty easy with this gun, and it's relatively consistent, but when you start to stretch that range a little bit, a lot of it just comes down to luck. As for hipfire, the MP40 is actually standard in the SMG category, and something about this gun just works for me when I'm hipfiring. I really enjoy hipfiring with this weapon. Our magazine capacity with the MP40 is 32 rounds, which is quite good in this game, and we've got 96 rounds in reserve when you first spawn. With extended mags, it jumps up to 48 rounds with 144 in reserve. As for our reload add time, which is the reload time without the unnecessary animation at the end, this is quite fast at 1.27 seconds, which is one of the fastest in the SMG category. Getting into some of the handling stats, our aim down sight time is 250 milliseconds. This is slower than a bunch of the SMGs, but it's not quite the slowest in the SMG category. This is actually in line with most of the rifles in this game. As for our sprint out time, once again, it's a bit slower than some of the other SMGs in this game, and it is right in line with the rifles in this game. So you can definitely see that the MP40 has some downsides to it. As for our movement speed, this is standard for SMGs at 100%. Same thing goes with our aim down sight stray speed, this is standard for SMGs at 70%. So overall, having a look at the MP40, it dominates right at those point blank ranges within that short 3 shot kill range that it has, and it also stretches its other ranges pretty decently far compared to the SMGs in the game. Having said this, within the standard SMG ranges, those mid sort of ranges, it is technically outclassed by a ton of the other SMGs in not only time to kill, but also in handling. So I see this as being a pretty good SMG, but it doesn't necessarily excel within the SMG ranges. 
If you put this thing up against something like a PPSH within the standard SMG ranges, so we're not talking that point blank three shot kill range, we're talking more like the four to five shot kill range, which is going to be most of the gunfights you should be finding yourself in with this weapon. Statistically, it just doesn't really keep up with a lot of the other SMGs in the game. That's not to say it's a bad SMG. In fact, it's actually one of my favorite SMGs to use because of its consistency. But just know within standard SMG ranges, it is outclassed by some of the other SMGs. Getting into my attachment recommendations for the MP40, Quick Draw is always on my recommended list, and I just wanted to clear this up for a lot of people that are asking me, why am I still using Quick Draw when I made that video talking about the fact that Quick Draw is useless when you break your sprint by aiming down sight? Well, the simple fact is, Quick Draw is working in literally every other situation in the game, and all it takes is a playstyle adjustment to make sure that you're not breaking your sprint by aiming down sight, and Quick Draw is suddenly working all the time for you. And when you compare it to a lot of the other attachments in this game, which don't really seem to be doing too much for you, I would much rather be using Quick Draw. In addition to this, Extended Mags. I really like Extended Mags on my SMGs. This just allows me to be really aggressive and challenge multiple enemies without having to worry about running out of ammo and needing a reload in the middle of a really stressful situation. I can take out several enemies if I need to before taking the time to take a reload. As for optics, I don't really feel a need to have an optic on this weapon. Within SMG ranges, I think the iron sights are just fine on the MP40. If I was going to be taking a third or fourth attachment on this weapon, I'd be using advanced rifling and or rapid fire. Advanced rifling, even though it doesn't help with your short three shot kill range, it does help a noticeable amount to your four and five shot kill ranges, which is definitely going to be helping you out in the game. As for rapid fire, rapid fire gives you a small increase to your rate of fire, but this does technically increase your time to kill a little bit, and it makes it a bit more competitive with some of the other SMGs within that 4 and 5 shot kill range. Now let's get into a couple class examples I have for this weapon. Just like with the previous episodes, I just want to point out, these are just example classes for you guys. Feel free to make adjustments that suit your playstyle and your preferences. First up, I have a rushing airborne class, and this is actually great with a suppressor as well. The MP40 does handle a suppressor quite well because it already has pretty decent 4 and 5 shot kill ranges. Therefore, I would say don't be afraid to pop a suppressor on there if you'd like. For attachments, we've got quick draw as well as extended mags. Our basic training skill on this one is scoped, which does reduce that idle sway that can get a little bit annoying at times, and it allows us to strafe a little bit faster when we're aiming down sight. Our secondary, as always, is a machine pistol with extended mags, and our lethal is a sticky grenade. Next up is an excellent infantry class that I like to use with the MP40. This is with infantry as well as primed, which primed will reduce our flinch a little bit, as well as give us that fourth attachment on this class. And for this one, we're using quick draw, extended bags, rapid fire, and advanced rifling. As you can tell, this one is designed purely for winning gunfights, and it does work quite effectively. You strafe very, very quickly with infantry as well as an SMG, and this class is just great for those face-to-face -face encounters. So those are just a couple examples that I like to use. Of course, feel free to swap things out and make adjustments when necessary. So there we have it. That's going to wrap it up for today's gun guide. I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about the MP40 in this game? Do you like the fact that it absolutely dominates up close while sacrificing that time to kill advantage over other SMGs? Or do you feel like it just doesn't quite compete with the other SMGs in the game? Let me know that as well as the gun you'd like to see me cover next in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.